Hey everyone, Mitch here, 506 Sabah Side and ATV, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, the tires, 28 inch Maxxis Carnivores on my 2022 Honda Pioneer 1005 Forest Edition. Like I said, those are 28 by 10 by 14 inch Maxxis Carnivores on Traxion x3 rims i believe they're called let's get into it okay so i ordered the from revco.ca i ordered the wheel and tire package uh i went with a 28 by 10 by 14 inch on the traxian x3 rims the all black with the silver silver uh, accents there I didn't go with the machined face. I like the all black look because the forest comes with black rims to begin with. Same size all the way around. Now the original setup, the way I had this and I have been running it, I had a one inch spacer added in the rear and nothing in the front. And it tracked about the same front and back. It was pretty good, but I had a little bit of rubbage in the front on hard turns it would rub right in here so i added two inch spacers in the back and i put the one inch that was in the back i put it in the front to keep it equal again but all it did was make it worse it rubs out here fairly good now it was tolerable with the no spacer in the front but now it's a little worse so i've gone ahead and ordered spring spacers from PBR products they're a one inch spacer that goes between your shock here and the bottom plate you can put it on the bottom or the top I believe and it's supposed to bring the chassis of the bike up two inches which should totally solve my issue and allow me to run the two inch spacer in the rear and the one inch spacer in the front just because I like the look of the added width Plus it should, in theory, give me a little more stability on the trail. I have not lost any power, I don't think. Maybe a little bit on the high end, on the top end. Before this machine with the stock wheels and tires would go about 106 kilometers an hour and it would get there pretty fast. Now with the bigger tire, this only reads about 105 on the dash. But according to GPS on my phone, it's really about 110. Anybody wondering how much your speedometer may be off? It's about five kilometers with the tire change. Oh, I haven't had this in any real thick mud since I did the tire swap because it's getting to be fall, late October. So it's getting a little more chilly. You really don't want to get wet and have to be wet all day and cold. But I'm sure these tires will get put to the test because the last ones did. And I ended up with sidewall punctures on a rocky trail. So that's what was the final straw to buy new tires. And I figured, like I said, I'd get the wheel and tire package so I could keep my old wheels and tires and possibly stud them for the winter trails. But these tires look too damn good. I don't think I'm gonna wanna take them off. Total cost to change the wheels and tires was about $2,200 and change Canadian. That includes tires on wheels, pre-mounted when they come in the mail right to your door. That also includes the wheel nuts because you need skinnier nuts for these rims and that also included one inch spacers i had in the rear which are now in the front i've added the two inch spacers in the rear instead which was an additional 120 dollars or so so the way she sits right now it's about 2200 2300 for the wheels and tire setup with the spacers I have. 
Still lots of power. I love it. With the wheel at full lock, the corner of the tire here is rubbing on my mud buster and a little bit on the stock footwells. You can see how it's already pulled one of my pins out. But I'm sure with the spring spacers that I've ordered through PBR products, check them out. Great people, great service, great products. I'm sure with those spacers, it'll be fucking near perfect. Minty. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like, leave me a comment, and even consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Thank you.